Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, we've got a fun tag video. I was tagged by the lovely Vivian Connolly. If you don't know her channel, I will link it down below in my description box so you can go check her out. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you some of my favorite handbags. However, I'm also gonna share with you some of the things that I don't love about these handbags. They're basically the annoying aspects of these handbags, okay? So I hope you can take this lightly and also take it as extra information if you are on the fence about buying one of these bags maybe this is going to be something that annoys you as well and you'd like to be informed in advance so we're going to start with the iconic one of a kind chanel classic flat bag this is the medium classic it is a vintage this one is 20 years old i bought it pre-loved it is black lambskin with silver hardware it's absolutely gorgeous the sheen on this lambskin is just like no other and the craftsmanship and the quality on the vintage Chanel pieces are just so amazing. So I love this bag. You probably have seen this bag many times on my channel if you've been here before. But I've also talked about, you know, that it's not perfect, right? So I am a crossbody gal. I love to wear my bags crossbody. And I have mentioned before that I don't love the fact that I can't wear this bag crossbody. I can technically. I am just shy of five feet, six inches tall. I've got a pretty narrow frame, so I can get it over my body and I can do it crossbody. I'm rather small chested as well. So it works but it doesn't look right i feel like it hits a little too high on my body it's kind of like in the rib cage area or right below my ribs and it's not super comfortable so i can pull it like this and like i said i can wear it crossbody but i don't love it and clearly it was not intended to be worn as a crossbody so it looks a little funky on most people i'll be honest so this is the way i normally wear it just singled i pull it and it is on one shoulder or you can make it shorter and double it up and put it on your shoulder that way so it's a matter of preference but if i could change one thing it would be to lengthen this chain just a little bit so that it can fit crossbody a little bit more comfortably but then again i know it would be a different bag it wouldn't be this iconic classic bag so uh, i know what i'm asking for <laughs> so here i'm going to open her up there's another aspect that I don't particularly love and it is this zippered compartment. Now legend has it, I don't know if it's true, that Coco Chanel back in the day hid her love letters up in this little pocket. Now for those of you who are not familiar with this design, the pocket actually goes up and it's only about an inch and a half deep. It does not go down at all, you can't put anything down in the zipper. It's basically shut closed on the bottom and only opens upward. So it's kind of a unique design, right? I would say I have never used this compartment ever. I can't imagine what I would use it for. I don't have love letters to stick in here or to hide away. And then on top of that, because of this zipper pull, you'll notice now, remember this bag is 20 years old. It's a vintage. It has held up incredibly over the past couple of decades but you can see here there's going to be some indentation marks and that's from the zipper pushing down and this will happen on caviar as well but of course more so on lambskin as it is a bit more fragile considering this bag is so aged I am not concerned the fact that it looks like this after you know a couple of de decades but if I got a brand new bag and it started to indent I might be a little bit annoyed by that so something to keep in mind also this double flap now this double flap is unique to the classic flaps and it is a bag within a bag concept right and again legend has it that this was intentional so that no one can really peek into coco chanel's handbag when she's reaching for her items i don't know if that's true or not it's kind of a cool story but it's not really convenient and it sort of doesn't serve really much of a purpose so i would prefer if this double flap was removed but again then that would change the bag and it would change the history i do have a uh, chanel jumbo single flap and it is much easier to get in and out of it's also going to make the bag lighter and kind of open up the capacity for your items as well so those are the few things that i would probably change about the bag um, and then there's also this back pocket which i've mentioned in the past it's really cute it's called this mona lisa smile some people refer to it as that you can slip some flat you know metro card or receipt or parking ticket in here but personally i don't use it very much and i don't want it to stretch out it's quite tight it's you know pretty small if the pocket was wider or longer maybe it'd be a little bit more functional maybe if it was a little bit 
looser. You can put your phone, but obviously when this bag was designed, it was not designed for iPhones and all of that because they didn't exist. So that's what I want to say about the Chanel Classic flap. I also have the red one in lambskin. Let me grab it. So I got this over the holidays just last year and I have to admit I've been using the red one more than the black one which is kind of a surprise but I've been loving this pop of cherry red and the same thing you know the chain length is going to be the same so not super comfortable wearing it crossbody although I have worn it crossbody once or twice and then the same thing here this bag is about 10 years old I also purchased this pre-loved and you see there's indentation again not something to really uh, you know it's not that bothersome but something to keep in mind if you are looking to buy a new bag and you think this might really annoy you you just want to be aware okay so those two I'll put down and then the next bag I'm going to show you is my beautiful caramel Givenchy Antigona in the mini size. This bag is so gorgeous. I love the design and the structure. It has no sagging on the bottom. I love just how it looks very um, architectural and it's got this really cool chunky zipper. By the way, I've done in-depth reviews on all of these bags, so I'll try to link them down below in my description box if you want to go and do a little bit more research and watch those videos. But I have mentioned in the past, this is a beautiful crossbody strap, right? It's adjustable. It's got these cool little, um, I don't even know what to call these. They're like these little pyramid studs. But this D-ring is how the strap hooks onto the bag itself. So you can wear it just like this in the crook of your arm or handheld, or you can wear this as a shoulder bag or a crossbody bag. And it just kind of clips on. I don't know if you saw that. There is a little divot here and then an opening here and you just match it up and you slip it through, right? Pretty easy. You would think simple design. However, unfortunately, there have been occasions where randomly I'd be out and about and I would put my bag down and somehow miraculously these two line up and this D-ring here on the strap would slip right out. Yes, so when I pick up my bag then, the strap is dangling from one side because one has come undone. So that is pretty annoying. I wish they had used more traditional lobster clasp or something a little bit more secure. But um, if I had one complaint about this bag, it would be the way the strap attaches. It's really not that secure. So, yep, that's my qualm with my Givenchy Antigona Mini. Otherwise, I think the color is delicious. And like I said, I really love the bag. Okay, so moving on, the next bag I'm going to show you is my Louis Vuitton Speedy 25. This is the classic. It's not the bandolier version. I think if you've watched my sort of Speedy saga, I have a couple of different videos where I tried the Speedy bandolier. I got a made in USA version. I got a made in France version. Uh, long story short, I wound up with this classic made in France and I got it pre-loved for a really good deal and I am happy with the ultimate choice. However, this bag, again, another iconic classic, right, made super famous by the one and only Audrey Hepburn. It's not, there's nothing I would really change about it except for the fact that the way it's packed by Louis Vuitton, I don't know if you can see, even though this bag is pre-loved and it's a few years old, there's still some creasing here on the canvas and on here as well. Don't know if you can see on the angles. So there's some lines here. That creasing happens because of the way Louis Vuitton packs and folds all of their speedies. And if you watched my unboxing videos on the speedies, you'll know they all come the same way. Folded like a pancake. I don't know why they do that because I know they have boxes large enough to fit the speedies, you know, stuff them properly with some tissue paper or air paper, and then kind of present this to the customer in a neater fashion, but they're all folded up like this. I know the beauty of the speedy is that you can fold it up. It's very easily smushable and you can travel with it. So I get that, but I don't love that the creasing is so set in that the fact that this bag is still, it's still folded. It's still creased after um, being out for a few years. It's not like it was just manufactured and fo folded up in the store recently. So it does take a while to kind of work out the creasing. So I don't love that, but otherwise I think it's obviously a classic bag that I can't complain about. Okay, and then the next bag I'm gonna show you is my Celine Classic Box Bag, and this is in the black 
calfskin with the aged brassy hardware and then the inside is lined with the gorgeous buttery lambskin this bag is so beautiful it's so well made i feel like celine is a more understated brand i feel as you can see when i open the flap you see here very small print celine paris but otherwise there's no branding there's no logos it's just gorgeous however this bag as beautiful as it is does have one annoying aspect to it and it is right here so these are the little tabs that hold the strap together and if you can see closely here and I know a lot of people have complained about this the tabs are quite sharp if you look at the corners I wish you can feel them the corners are quite pointy and so what I do is I'm very mindful about shimmying the strap all the way down so that it's as far down as possible when I wear this on my shoulder so that the corners are not digging into my skin, my shoulder, my neck, and also to avoid the corners snagging on my long hair, which I know has happened to a few people. So um, it's not a deal breaker, but I do wish that this maybe was changed to something a little bit more a rounded or just a slightly different design so that it doesn't um, cause pain with the sharp corners but otherwise the bag is gorgeous I think this is a forever bag and uh, I have no other issues with my Celine classic box and this is the medium size and then last but not least my most recent addition to my collection this is the Louis Vuitton Palm Springs mini so cute little backpack in the classic monogram made in France I think you may have already heard the story of how I wound up with this bag if you didn't I will link that video up above but um, this is the newer model the one that they came out with more recently with the canvas pulled back so that the zipper is really easy to access and it's really smooth before the original model had the canvas kind of overhang so the zipper would get stuck and be really cumbersome to get into so I'm really happy that they updated this however they did not update the zipper here so this would be the annoying aspect that I wanted to talk about so because there is that canvas overhang it's really hard to get in there and not to mention also once you open the zipper, this pocket is so tight and tiny. The compartment alone is okay. You can probably put some stuff in there, but the zipper is too short. So as you can see, I'm trying to squeeze my fingers in there. There's really no way that I can put items in there and easily access them without scraping the zipper against my fingers. So I have not used this compartment. In my mind, it's pretty useless. It doesn't serve really much function. So I do wish that Louis Vuitton would remove this overhang as well and maybe make the zipper a tiny bit longer it probably make a difference the only other thing that i'll mention about the palm springs mini is that the straps for wearing this backpack are still quite long even if you wear this as short as possible in fact there's a second piece that connects to each strap i remove that completely and i just use one and it's still a little bit long again i'm about five feet six inches tall and it kind of drapes and it almost reaches my my butt <laughs> so I do wish there were more holes more um, options to shorten this especially as I had mentioned in my other video I bought this with my daughter in mind this is definitely a cute little piece that I want to pass on to her and she's quite petite so if I were to pass this on to her when she's like a teenager in a couple of years I don't know how this is going to hang on her so I'm actually exploring finding some black leather straps that are shorter and more adjustable so if you find anything like that please let me know in the comments because I would love to check it out but otherwise I'm also wearing this kind of crossbody not on the front crossbody I'm using just this one strap to go diagonally and I'm wearing the backpack on my back crossbody like this so I talked about that in my um, reveal video as well so I won't go into too much detail but those are the bags that I wanted to show you essentially five different bags but I have duplicates on the classic flap over here to the right and those are basically the small little annoying aspects that I wanted you to be aware of but otherwise I love these bags they're beautiful anyway I hope you enjoyed this video let me know in the comments below what you think do you have a bag that you absolutely love but there's just one little tiny nitty gritty thing that you find annoying I'd love to know um, share with us in the comments below if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and if you are new to my channel I would love for you to consider subscribing and joining our community till next time bye bye